What's up guys, back with another video. Today we're gonna be doing, uh, we're coding in, uh, we're coding off rather the legal disclaimer that comes up on your um, your display when you first start your car. So you no longer have to see that. And we're also coding off the seatbelt indicators. Um, so every time that you're driving just like a block or whatever, and you hear that, that seatbelt thing going off, uh, you don't have to listen to that anymore. So not the biggest things to code off, but uh, they do make a difference in the long run. Real quick, today's video is brought to you and sponsored by Carolina Fast 4, my buddy Warren's company. He makes these really great mounts for GoPros that go inside and outside of the vehicle. Um, I'm currently using the mount that goes on the inside for cockpit views while I'm driving. And uh, we'll, we'll jump to a video of what that looks like right now. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's really good quality. Everything is stabilized. The craftsmanship that goes into these are awesome. I mean, it's fully carbon fiber. It has uh, rubber components, so the GoPros don't shake as much, and they're more stabilized, and they're fully adjustable, easily adjustable too. So um, you guys make sure, I'm gonna put all of his information down in the, uh, in the bio, in the description, and you guys go check him out on Instagram. He can, uh, he can get you anything you're looking for. They also have one for the front of the car that goes in the tow hook, so make sure you check him out. Carolina Fast 4. Um, all right, so jumping into this, we're gonna be first going into, once you connect your Beamer code, uh, you're gonna first be jumping into head unit. And we're gonna let that load, might take a minute here. Now real quick, while this is loading, you guys, write down in the comments, let me know what else you wanna see coded. I'm doing coding videos all week, so um, let me know what you wanna see coded, and I'll do all the information, I'll do all the research, and I'll post a full video, just like this one, a tutorial on how to do it with Beamer Code app. All right, so once you get into head unit, real simple. Um, display options, multimedia system, legal disclaimers. You already see that I have it not active. That means that it's not gonna show up. So all you have to do is make sure that that says, that it's selected as non-active. And when you're done, you're gonna go to the top right where it says code. I'm not gonna do it right now because I already coded mine, but you're gonna wanna go ahead and code it. And then you start the coding process, let the, uh, let the uh, Beamer Code app restart your ECU, and um, from there you're good. For the seatbelt indicator settings, we're gonna jump into advanced crash safety module. Let's let this load up here. You guys, make sure that you're liking and subscribing to the channel. Make sure you're liking the videos because with uh, YouTube's algorithm, that will end up pushing my videos and more people will get to see them. And obviously we're trying to grow this channel, so um, any help you guys can give me. And uh, you know, if, you, if you're appreciating the content or you're getting kind of any kind of information from this that you find useful, I would really, really appreciate you guys pushing the channel and helping me out. Shameless promotion. Um, all right, so this is loading. It takes a little bit longer to load the advanced crash safety module. There's a lot more settings in that one than the, um, the head unit one. Now I do wanna state that anytime you guys are coding, um, don't jump to the gun right away and be like, well, it didn't work. It, it, it's just not working for me. Sometimes you have to give it time. You need to let your car run a few cycles. It might even take a day or two for them to kick in. Now you can see that I already have all of these seatbelt reminder, driver's seat, not active, uh, seatbelt reminder, passenger seat, not active. All of these top five, yeah, the top five, um, none of them are activated. I turn them all off. So you wanna go ahead and not activate, non-activate the top five under advanced crash safety model. And go, then go on with the process, go ahead and code it, and, um, and that's it guys, you're, you're done. From there on out, the job is finished.